Hello friends, I am Sharath Chandran. Uh, today I come up with uh, another video that, that is uh, automatic unloading system. In short, we call it as AUS. So this AUS is uh, normally uh, used on oil tanker, big oil tankers. So uh, what is the purpose of uh, this uh, AUS? Okay. Uh, the, by using uh, what we are trying to achieve uh, uh, by using AUS is that uh, we would like to reduce the uh, cargo discharge time ok and uh, another thing is uh, reduce unpumpable quantities cargo quantity ok and uh, reduce Uh, wear and tear of wear and tear of cargo pump okay so uh, uh, without any delay uh, let's uh, uh, discuss about the components of uh, uh, AUS system okay so in the AUS components uh, there is a cargo pump uh, normally this cargo pump is uh, big centrifugal pumps okay okay and another thing is cargo gas separator so this cargo gas separator is normally uh, placed on the uh, suction side of the uh, cargo pump ok and uh, cargo separator level sensor so uh, whatever uh, oil coming to the cargo pump has to pass through the uh, cargo gas separator so the level of the uh, cargo gas separator uh, will be uh, available in the CCR to get that in level there is a sensor fitted on the uh, level separator okay so this is a place known uh, cargo separator there are uh, mainly uh, two uh, sensors upper and lower okay and vacuum pump in uh, vacuum pump the main uh, uh, function of vacuum pump is uh, uh, whenever the gas separator uh, is filled up with the cargo vapors this pump will start automatically and it will suck all the gas vapors ok uh, let's say extract vapors from separator ok pneumatically pneumatically operated uh, discharge valve ok so this discharge valve is uh, placed on, uh, on the discharge side of the cargo pump so this valve is uh, operated uh, uh, from CCR 
and uh, this uh, the operating mechanism is uh, used uh, operating mechanism is uh, compressed air okay okay so this valve has a function of uh, open and shut uh, automatically okay there is a uh, one more valve uh, which is uh, controlled by the system that is gas extraction valve so this gas extraction valve is uh, placed between the cargo separator and uh, vacuum pump there will be a small valve which is also a pneumatic control so whenever the vacuum pump starts this valve gas extraction valve will open and the uh, it will connect the uh, uh, access the vacuum pump to suck the uh, vapors from the uh, car separator okay so these are the components let's go to a diagrammatic view of the uh, whole system okay so uh, this is our uh, cargo tank okay this cargo tank is uh, fully filled with uh, oil and uh, when during discharge time uh, our cargo tank uh, uh, is filled and uh, we will open the uh, tank valve so this is tank tank valve okay okay this is our suction tank section when the this valve is open the oil will flow through the pipeline and comes and fill inside the separator okay this cylindrical type uh, cylindrical shaped uh, structure it is actually a uh, small uh, tank okay this thing is called a cargo separator or cargo vapor separator okay so once this cargo separator is full and oil will flow towards the cop okay when you start the cop from the ccr at a, okay when the pump is uh, rotating there is a discharge valve okay the discharge valve will be open okay the discharge valve will be opened and uh, the cargo from the cargo tank will pass through the separator and the cargo pump and it will be pumped pumped out to the shore okay now when the cargo tank is uh, almost full everything will work perfectly we can run the cargo pump at maximum rpm we uh, we will get a very good discharge rate and everything will uh, go perfectly but the uh, uh, difficult situation comes when the level of the cargo tank reduces okay when the level of the cargo tank reduces to uh, let's say uh, one or two meters uh, when a few meters uh, from the bottom of the tank and what will happen the separator the level inside the separator will also reduce okay 
so initially the separator was full because the level of the tank is higher and by gravity uh, the entire separator will get, get uh, filled then only the pump will uh, get the oil so now the level is uh, uh, lo lowered okay so by gravity uh, only the this much portion of the separator will get filled okay so but the remaining uh, uh, po uh, area of the or the volume of the separator will be filled up with uh, cargo vapors okay so what happened the pump is running at full rpm at a particular level uh, or a particular point the level of the uh, uh, cargo inside the tank will reduce further okay so that the separator separator will uh, separator level will drop further so what will happen the more and more uh, vapor will accumulate inside the uh, separator so what will happen the cargo pump will uh, start getting uh, mixture of oil and mixture of oil and vapor so when the pump is running at a higher rpm and it is getting a mixture of oil and vapors what will happen the cavity the uh, uh, vapors will generate a cavity inside the pump so the, this is called cavitation so suddenly uh, pump will run at a higher rpm than the normal and it will uh, lose the uh, suction so that kind of situation is very dangerous for the cargo pump so to avoid that thing we must always maintain a positive uh, flow inside the cargo pump and the cargo pump must always filled with oil so to avoid any uh, cavity forming inside the uh, cargo pump we we try to maintain flow only the oil inside the pump so uh, there are a few uh, methods to maintain uh, or achieve this uh, thing so when the normal practices uh, that we follow is to build uh, avoid this kind of situation is whenever the tank level lowers we know there will be vapors okay so the pump rpm is also higher so whatever the oil getting is pump getting the pump is continuously uh, uh, pumping out so and the level is uh, level lowers below so what we do we will reduce reduce the rpm of the pump okay so by doing that thing uh, we can run the pump in a healthy manner okay and uh, still we uh, uh, are unable to uh, maintain our level of the separator or we think the uh, pump is about to lose the suction what we do next is we'll throttle throttle the discharge valve okay and moreover more important thing is even after doing this thing uh, we cannot avoid any gas uh, uh, coming inside the uh, COP so our main aim is to remove this gas okay so this gas has only uh, two ways uh, uh, to pass okay either it should go back to the cargo tank or it should go back to the, go to the uh, uh, pump cargo pump, pump so this case is very dangerous 
okay so uh, and uh, since there is a continuous flow from the flow of liquid from the cargo tank going air going back to cargo tank is also uh, not uh, uh, possible so what we do is we uh, there is a small pipeline that is connected to a pump uh, a vacuum pump that will create a vacuum so when the pump creates a vacuum all the vapors from this portion will be sucked by the vacuum pump okay and the vacuum pump will uh, discharge this vapor to any of the slope tank okay so when the pump vacuum pump uh, sucks the air or sorry the vapors inside the separator what will happen a negative pressure will be generated inside the inside the separator so due to that whatever the uh, low, uh, remaining oil okay that also will be sucked through the pipeline so when that negative pressure is uh, filled more and more oil will come inside the separator okay so the cargo pump uh, will will not get any uh, vapors it will get only uh, cargo oil so the uh, we can run the cargo pump at normal rpm without reducing any rpm or doing any throttle uh, adjustment we can uh, uh, discharge cargo at higher rpm and higher discharge rate without doing all those things so this uh, reducing pump rpm and the throttle uh, reducing the throttle of the discharge valve is normally done at the uh, initial stage uh, sorry uh, final stages of the cargo discharge so eventually reducing rpm and the discharge valve throttle it will reduce the discharge rate okay so we need to maintain high higher discharge discharge rate as much as possible so due to the uh, separation uh, ga gases formed uh, vapors formed inside the uh, separator and the uh, for, uh, risk of cavitation and uh, suction loss uh, in normal scenario we reduce the pump rpm and throttle the discharge valve so to uh, if we have a, uh, a, uh, the main villain in this uh, uh, scenario is vapor if we avoid the vapor from the uh, situation we uh, we can pump continue pumping the uh, cargo at a higher discharge rate much uh, uh, much more period so uh, the uh, cargo bulk discharge of the cargo uh, can be uh, uh, done uh, uh, in a sh shorter time uh, if we do the uh, pump, uh, pump reduce the pump rpm and the throttle discharge ball the cargo discharge uh, rate will be affected the cargo discharge time will be much more uh, higher so by uh, using the uh, vacuum pump and uh, removing the gas uh, vapor from the separator we can uh, more efficiently pump out the cargo so this system uh, uh, this system uh, the removal of the uh, vapor from the separator uh, is uh, 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 controlled by automatic unloading system so whenever the oil uh, the oil level drops oil level inside the separator uh, drops uh, uh, drops there are two sensors which i mentioned earlier whenever the oil level drops these two sensors sensors will send a signal to the automatic unloading system 
what the sensor uh, the system will uh, trigger the pump to start okay so automatically the vacuum pump will be started and the vapors will be uh, removed so uh, the duty officer the chief officer uh, 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 don't have to uh, uh, um, be on the uh, CCR for much longer time since this system uh, works uh, perfectly by removing the uh, vapors automatically the there will be uh, no chance of pump getting uh, cavitated and uh, uh, running the uh, system dry so the whole uh, uh, i will i will uh, explain the uh, flow chart uh, the uh, com the communication of the uh, ao system in a uh, flow chart okay let's go to the flow chart so Uh, like, like I said the gas separator has two sensors right uh, upper and lower let's forget okay whenever the low level sensor activates it will send a signal to a US panel Okay, this AUS panel send a signal to vacuum pump. At the same time, this panel send a signal to discharge valve also. Okay, this discharge valve. Okay. this discharge valve is actually uh, uh, can be opened and shut uh, pneumatically that uh, control is with the AU system so this uh, well so the AU system will uh, send a signal to discharge valve so this discharge valve will so when this uh, happens uh, the two things will happen the vacuum pump will start Okay, and the discharge valve will throttle. Okay, as a effect, the cargo flow in uh, the discharge uh, discharge of the oil through the COP will be reduced mom momentarily. Just remain. Okay. To reduce discharge momentarily okay okay so once the vacuum pump starts what the vacuum pump will do sucks air from separator vacuum pump will suck the air from the separator so once the air or vapor from the separator will uh, be sucked out negative pressure will create negative pressure inside separator ok this negative pressure this negative pressure will uh, fill the separator with oil from 
pipe line. So once the separator is uh, filled again, the low levels uh, uh, alarm will get cancelled. Okay. Once the low level alarm is uh, cancelled, okay. Once the low level alarm is cancelled, the discharge valve. discharge valve whatever whatever the discharge valve it will send a signal to the discharge valve so the discharge valve will open okay so this entire cycle this entire cycle will uh, work automatically okay so the duty officer don't have to uh, keep on adjusting with the discharge valves and uh, pump RPM uh, to maintain the good red. So the the job of a duty officer will uh, will be simplified by this uh, system. So uh, this is how the uh, AO system works. Uh, I know uh, for. Uh, a person who is uh, uh, looking for the AU system for the first time this diagrammatic representation is a bit confusing but uh, by looking at this diagram uh, I would like to uh, explain once again uh, whenever the separator level lowers this sensors will give an alarm uh, alarm and uh, indication to the AO system. The AO system will start the pump. Whatever the vapors will be pumped out by the vacuum pump, more uh, liquid will come inside, and the sensor uh, 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 alarm will get cancelled. So, and the uh, when the uh, so vacuum pump starts, so the dis discharge valve also throttles. But when the alarm goes off, the, uh, this is fully filled, discharge valves open again and more cargo will go. Okay. So, thank you very much uh, friends. Uh, see you on next video.